Now I'm switching over to this view, and what I'm intrigued with here is the, the play between light and shadow, both between each tree, each side of the trees. I've got these little triangles of, of illuminated trees sticking up through the, through the darkness. And then also the difference between ridges. Um, you can really see the size difference in things as the, as the ridges get farther away from me. So that's what my photograph is. I also am considering my depth of field. Now, my subject is so far away that I don't have to worry about anything being out of focus in the background because it's just so far away. So I'm gonna shoot at about F8 and get maximum sharpness, but I'm also going to open up and shoot at about F2 and also 1.8 in order to maximize the, the velvety glow that this lens is capable of. When you're shooting wide open with velvet and also some of the other lens baby lenses, you'll find that it's hard to focus through the glowy effect. So it's best to stop down to about f4, maybe 5.6, and that'll give you a sharp, clear field of view that you can use to focus the lens and then open the aperture back up and get the, the glow and the, the emotional kind of image that we're after. I've, I've switched again. I've got a little, a little mist creeping through the valley down below me here and I want to try and emphasize that. Now, I've got a lot of trees in my picture. It's pretty much all trees. A common mistake when photographing trees, especially with, with lots of shadow uh, falling across them, is that it's easy to overexpose this picture. We've got all these dark things, and when we look at the, the light meter inside the camera, it's saying, whoa, there's a lot of dark stuff here. I think we ought to brighten it up. And so if you, if you just use the light meter, and set it right in the middle at zero, your trees are gonna be way too bright and they're gonna be washed out looking. Instead, you need to remember that you're photographing something dark and you have to override that little light meter and say, listen camera, this is a dark picture. It should be black. I'm shooting at minus two. If I'm in aperture mode, that means I need to turn my exposure compensation dial all the way down to, to minus two, minus 1.7 and that's gonna give me the right exposure, which is imperative because that, that little fleeting mist creeping through the valley, if I overexpose that, I don't get the detail of it. And I can't overexpose only that. Everything gets overexposed or everything gets underexposed. So remember when you're photographing a dark subject that you need to tell the camera to be dark. 